Welcome back. We've got our first day of competition unfolding here on day nine of the event window at the Target Maui Pro. And this is heat six of round two, that dreaded second round. And the last heat, we're looking for our final competitor to move through to round three. We've got the veteran, Silvana Lima, 31 years of age, going up against one of the young guns, Alessa Kuzon, the Hawaiian, at 21 years of age. Argued, it's, it is a crucial heat. She needs to get some money to fund a QS campaign for next season. And that would be in the back of her mind as she swings into this one. With 25 minutes to go, drives off the bottom. Stylish first turn. This one's starting to race away from her. And she kicks out. Yeah. Out the back, Alessa Kuzon, she finds a wave. It's got a bit more open wall to work with. Solid bottom turn, top turn combo there as the wave shuts down. But it's been so much fun to just see her back in the competitive arena. We watch this wave from her. Scratches into this one. I like the way that she gets that bottom turn in nice and early. Fits that maneuver in with a wave. Comes around that section and has to eject. And then Alessa Kuzan, this wave was beautiful. We talk about the backhand looking so impeccable. Out here and that was really well read from Alessa Kuzan. Escaping under the lip, you can hear the Billabong crew going mad and her dad. She started winning every single event that she entered over there in Rio until she eventually won a car and she sold that car, used the money to buy an apartment for her family. And, uh, and she's got to be careful because Alessa Kuzan has a huge score in the opening stages, an 8.33 for two turns. And Alessa has found the corner on a solid set wave here. And she's racing down the line, drawing off the bottom slashing that first section apart and again just digging in there was a solid combination of maneuvers there and you can see when you have that much speed and you get a big solid bottom turn in just how well it sets you up for that top turn and Silvana's found herself a decent ride too beautiful stylish grab rail carve and she gets a big finish a great answer and we're just under 19 minutes to go. This heat's going to start getting very interesting now. Yeah, starting with this paddle back, uh, paddle back to the outside. These two ladies will be fighting for their priority position. You see Alessa Kuzan turning on the gas, wanting to make it out to the outside before Savannah Lima, so that she can take control of the lineup. But well, I'm liking the uh, the spirited performance from Alessa Kuzan. She's already qualified via the QS for next year's CT. But she's in 13th position as we see Silvana wow. on the replay. Big barrel. And again, adds more points on the inside too. Oh, that was huge. Big grab rail, Cuddy. Beautiful wave from Silvana Lima. That barrel on the outside, I mean, wow, that's going to be one of the better waves we've seen um, from today. And Alessa Kwazan, I mean, this wave from her, the way she winds us up and the way that she gets her board so critical, she drops right to the bottom of that wave. Slashes it up into the lip. We talk about that critical section. That's where that lip is breaking there. Just not afraid to well, power through that lip. Rosie, Alyssa Kuzon got an 8.33 in the opening stages for two turns. That's a beefy score for that wave. I mean, you Very look at beefy. that exchange. <laughs> Silvana, we watched in round one. She was hunting the barrel. That was beautiful. She read that wave so well. Well, just over 16 minutes to go. And Silvana, she's starting to find some momentum in this lineup. Surfing with a lot of speed at the moment. Tags that first section with a solid hit. Looks to drift the fins. She needed to do something special. It was a medium-sized ride. But the judges are really considering that last exchange. The surfing, you know, it's the way that you interpret, interpret the wave and the line that you draw. And, and the way that you surf it is completely your own. It's like a fingerprint. So Silvana Lima, I, I'd have to agree with you. The way that she, you know... The line that she took on that wave was just so beautiful to watch and pleasing on the R. Well, she's still in this heat. She gets a 9.1. And just remember that style, it isn't really part of the criteria. It's all about the, the turns that you perform. And at the moment, Alessa Kuzon is being super aggressive. The bottom turn is sharp, and it's redirecting her directly into the pocket of the wave and allowing her to let go of some huge backhand turns at Makaha. And she was just a, a little grommet surfing with her sister, her dad pushing her into waves. And here is the replay of her last ride. That 
8.53 Ronnie as you see her backhand attack you mentioned that aggressive style that she has she just stays so you know compact close to that white water and that really gives her the opportunity to come out of her turns with a lot of speed and aggression and here we go Silvana Lima getting the barrel of the day in my opinion coming out of this one just setting herself up she just takes this one beautiful low bottom turn grab rail cutty that was beautiful the way she got a board on rail another swooping maneuver so savannah lima that was one of the standout waves for me today it got me really excited and she was just uh pointing the nose of board on show throughout that tube rider and typically that's a pretty good indication for the judges that she could have been a little bit deeper in that tube but here she goes again getting a little bit more aggressive on this ride first turn was strong just transitioning through that second maneuver. This wave not quite as big as some of the rides that Alessa had. But she doesn't need to match Alessa's score. She only needs a 7.76. And we'll wait and see if it's enough. 12 and a half minutes to go. A great heat unfolding. And something that has been coming up quite often today is timing on the wave. And I just love the tempo that Silvana Lima takes on this wave. She just transitions through these maneuvers with such fluidity you see her just going straight into that turn there brings it back around and just hooks oh. it up off that i love that style like you mentioned just drifting that tail so Silvana lima answering back Silvana lima's last ride has dropped it came through at a 6.17 so falling short of the required 7.76 and alessa maintains the lead she's also taken a few medium so size ways and as a result hasn't been able to match those big critical turns laid down by Alessa, but here we go, Silvana up now. Beautiful first turn, but just catches the rail riding out of that move. Great heat, Rosie. It's such a good heat. I mean, I love when you can see the effort that uh, Silvana is putting into the heat. You mentioned that, that smooth style, but she also has that little hint of aggression that comes through in her turns. We've got a decent sized wall rolling in here at the moment, and Alessa, she's swinging. And this one's standing up. She drops to the bottom, climbs up into the pocket. Let's go of a huge backhand turn to get started. And again, unleashes more of a carving snap. And this wave has fantastic pace. She gets a little hung up there, but does well to recover. Yeah, some big maneuvers on that wave. One of the bigger waves that we've seen. Just a beautiful wrapping wall coming into Honolulu Bay. You know that one wave set is such a bummer for Silvana Lima. She's at the back of priority now. You see her just pacing into this wave you can see the size as she hooks it up into the lip there Lessa Kozan those are the moves she's been doing throughout this heat to keep her in the lead just waiting for this to do something negotiates that section oh, whack. more water displaced by her three large turns on one of the meteor waves we've seen today you can see this beautiful wave just wrap its wrap around the bay and Lessa Kozan going to town Finishing it off here with this maneuver. Unfortunately, gets a little bit hung up. This is the highest single ride of this heat. A two, a 9.2, a 9.2 for Alessa Kuzon. And now Silvana Lima. She needs to get herself an 8.64 and she gets barreled on this one. Out onto the open face. Clean roundhouse cutback. And the wall's starting to stand up for her again, but she needs to do more. And she lets go of a floating re-entry, but doesn't finish it off. Here, clock. Yeah. There's a minute and 40 seconds to go. Let's have a look at this wave. Silvana Lima scratches into it, just stalls for this barrel. Another beautiful barrel right for Silvana Lima. Holds this rail so beautifully, doing that cutback maneuver. Gets the power source. A couple maneuvers here. Eyes off this section, and unfortunately, her board just bucks off at the last second there. That was crucial. That little inside section has been so tricky to negotiate throughout the morning, throughout the afternoon. But Alessa Kuz on. Having, uh, in my opinion, the heat of a career so far. A 9.2, an 8.53, a heat score total of 17.73, and just 45 seconds to go. She might even get a shot at a victory lap out there. I'm so bummed to see her out of the event. I mean, I would love to see more surfing like that from her. She just takes a moment to just soak it all in. This is the last event for her in 2015. She won't qualify for 2016, but. She's been such a pleasure to watch throughout this year. Well, this heat is coming to a close. Alessa Kuzon getting a victory. And the world number 13 is going to be charging on through to that 
third round, taking the last spot in round three, which will be getting underway shortly.